afternoon, good evening, and good night, wherever you're watching from all over the world. So, I'm so excited because the last time I saw this client, it was her first time that she came to me all the way. Was it South Africa? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to come. And she's back here. It's a month after I did that first style. And her hair grew a little bit. I could see that. But I had to give her some advice. So before I came on live, I was, you know, giving her the advice. And I said, you know what? Let me just come on here and give you guys also an update. So the goal is to take her to waist length or if you want longer hair than that fine but i'm taking her to waist length that's my personal goal yeah. for her <laughs> yeah. i guess she's excited yeah. too so that's the personal goal for her she has 4c hair but i blew it out a little bit this morning so she did take down her braids at home so i asked her if she you know comb pass a comb through it afterwards she said yes and I wanted, you know, to come and share with you, just in case you have short 4C here like hers and you want to go to waist length as well. Just an advice. So she had cornrow braids. When you take down your braids or whatever protective style you take down, do not pass a comb through it at that point in time. Saturate your hair with oils or conditioner and then finger detangle. Put it in section, you know, pre pour wash your hair, deep condition your hair. And then you do, you know, more finger detangling. Do not pass a comb through it. That's my advice to her. Reason being, for our hair, it tends to be really coily, get really matted really quickly. And passing a comb, no matter how wide the tooth is, especially during after taking down a style, that's when you tend to have a lot of breakage. Mm -hmm. So it's not that we're not protective styling. A lot of us are protective styling, and you say that you're using hair growth products and they're just not working. But maybe, just maybe. You need to look into the method that you use when you're taking down your hair handling the hair very gently is important if you're going to retain the length because our hair apart from being coily is very fragile the more coils or kink your hair has is the more weak weaker it is where the bonds are formed where the coils are thereby it breaks easily so i want you guys if you have horsey hair and it's short you've been trying everything to grow it and it's not working start from being gentle How are you guys doing? Thanks for the two person that gave the live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> Hi, Paige. Hi, Michelle. Right. So you guys want to make sure to be gentle with your forcey here if you want to retain length at all, if you're serious about ret length retention. So once you pick your styles out, or braids, whatever, protect this finger, just saturate it here with some oil even conditioner or regular conditioner if you're going to wash it and take your time pick it out finger detangle because your finger can feel the knots and like i said especially if you've been wearing the protective style for a long time you're going to get knots when you're taking them down and it's critical to moisturize your hair while you're wearing a protective style that helps to prevent a lot of knotting and frizz and friction that cause you know those single strand knots that lead to bigger knots and you're good so that's what i was sharing with her early on because i did realize she didn't come back for me to take it down which is fine i don't mind her taking it down that saves me a lot of time actually but i want her to get it correctly because no matter what treatments i do to her hair or how i style it on the hair growth journey if she's not taking it down carefully it's just going to defeat the whole purpose of protective styling mm -hmm. you realize a lot of persons are constantly braiding the hair one after the other yet they're not seeing any length retention the hair tend to be thinner they tend to lose their edges and all that's just because during the take process and the detangling process they break it all off from the ends mm -hmm. so even though it, the, 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 down the base of the hair may look thicker and fuller and the ends look a little bit thinner and stringier that's because it's growing healthy from the roots and you're breaking off the ends mm -hmm. yeah i just want to come on and share that with you Awesome, Michelle. Hi, Just Jenny. Good day to you. Right. So you just need to be careful where that is concerned. And I promise you, you'll see the result. After three months, you'll definitely see a, a, a great result if you practice that. And then by six months, you'll see even better results.
But I see that her edges are coming on nicely. The first time I saw her. <laughs> it was it was worse than this. So I'm happy to know that it is growing back. If you have weak edges or your edges are going like this, try not to put too much tension on your edges. And that will really help. Hi Viola. Hi Brianna. You can do that, but we don't straighten it here though. Are you talking about blow drying? We don't silk press. I don't silk press, but I do blow drying so we can show you how we prep it for blow for a blow out. And I don't silk press at all. By the way, on your root naturals hub today, Gary will post exactly how to take down your protective style to retain maximum length. So look out for that video today. Maybe soon. Who, who knows? <laughs> Because this is a very crucial step in length retention. A lot of persons have been buying a lot of products, you know, buying a lot of deep conditioners, a lot of oils, a lot of butters. And they are not paying so much attention to being gentle with the hair, to, you know, practice low manipulation, especially if you have type 4 hair. And that is the biggest issue that I think we face. Not because the hair not growing, it's just that you know we're far too harsh with our hair our hair is very fragile okay just jenny yeah our hair is far too fragile so you definitely need need to be careful during the takedown process during your detangling process if you are serious about length retention and I'm going to show you, it's, it's, she said, told me that she had relaxed and it has been two years. For me, two years grow to have been a little bit more than double of the length that she currently has. Like I said, I know it's because it has been broken off. Not that everybody grow the same rate, but on average, most people get half an inch per month. Some persons get a whole inch if their hair grow really fast, but most people don't get that. So the average growth rate is half an inch per month. I know I get half an inch every month. If I take supplements, sometimes I do get a little bit more if I'm exercising, eating well, taking my supplements, doing my laser therapy and all that stuff. But I get like a little bit below an inch, not exactly an inch, but I know for the most part, I get half an inch per month. And I've been retaining for the past five months all my growth. That's why you see, did you see the video I posted yesterday? You know, give me an update on, on my length retention and telling you about my regimen. That was just five months worth of growth. It's long like that, not because my hair grows faster than any than most people. It's just because I'm very keen when it comes to length retention and I do everything to retain all the length that I've gotten. The only time I'll lose that length is when I do a trim. I'll cut some off. So guys, it is very important to be very gentle. I can't overemphasize that. That is very crucial. Set so aside all the products. Products are good for straightening the hair and for, you know, helping the with manageability and stuff like that. But if you really want longer hair, just be gentle with your hair. And thanks for the 10 person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far. I know you guys are so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome people you are. I like giving you information because I really feel that if we share with each other, we can, we can make the journey easier. Because guess what? I don't know everything. You don't know everything. But when I share what I know and you share what you know, it saves us a lot of trouble from experimenting and, you know, finding out the hard way. And that's why I'm always trying to give you information as it comes to my mind, you know. 
and I want your journey to be easier. Just follow what I tell you. Say. <laughs> but remember, everything don't work for everybody. But this that I'm telling you this morning works the same for everyone. Being gentle with your hair, doing low manipulation spells, and you know, be careful when you're taking down your braids or your natural hair spells will get you a far away. Hi, Chefesto. I'm Merlin. Good morning. Hi, Paula. Hi, Nathalie. Yay, it's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> yes, girl, it's Friday. We're happy. <laughs> like, um, in South Africa, we say it's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> me good morning good morning to you my dear thank you <laughs> it's friday it's dress down day marilyn <laughs> mm -hmm. so the last braid i gave her lasted her for three weeks is it yeah, over three weeks. It was going to be a month this uh, Sunday. Okay. So, yeah. You just pick it out and yeah. redo it. Yeah. yeah. That's so awesome. The fact that she's keeping it for her styles are lasting for a month that even give her a more, a, a better opportunity to grow her hair out. I was just advising her that while she's wearing a style, just to keep it moisturized, she can use like penetrating oils because she don't want to really be spritzing water on the style. That is just going to cause it to freeze easily but once it like after a week or two she can start spritzing her water and her leave-in conditioner but for now i just want her to oil her scalp with penetrating oils you know to penetrate the strands and keep it moisturized hi crazy saturdays hi carlin or carlin listen I'm trying to see your, your name in it but it's too fine <laughs> Thank you for coming here. So tell me guys, what's, what has your hair growth journey been like? Oh yes, one more thing I need to address before I forget. Yeah, yes, not, yes Michelle, once it, you find a regimen that works for you and stick to it, over time you'll see the, the, the progress. But another serious evil is trying to manipulate your hair often. You know, some persons, I, I get people that have really fine strands and they make the hair really fuzzy and frizzy. Try to find protective styles that work for you. Styles that you don't have to be taking down every two days to redo. You should be able to keep yourself for like a week to two weeks at least. You know, especially if you have type 4 hair. Loose the fixtures, they can do whatever they want. It's, it's not hard to detangle. They don't suffer from as much, much breakage as, you know, 4C hair or type 4 hair. So, once you have 4C hair, you have to try minimize the amount of manipulation. So, don't be getting up in the morning, pulling up your hair in a bun every day. Or trying to redo your twists or your braids every day. Try to do a style that lasts for a week or two. Be very careful and gentle while you're taking it down. And then you'll start seeing the result. Don't expect to see the result at the end of the week or the end of the month. <laughs> yeah. At the, end, at the end of three to four months, you should see a big difference. Hi, Carlene. Gary's going to do a video on that detox, hair detox. All right? Because you're not the only one that wants to know, so I figure it's easier to make a video on that. So he'll do that. So uh, if you have not subscribed to New Growth Naturals Hub, which is Gary's channel, which is a uh, part of this channel, you need to go over and subscribe. So whenever you post that video or any other DIY videos, you'll be able to get notifications so you can watch them. All right. That's New Growth Naturals Hub for all my newbies. That's an extension of New Growth Naturals channel. What the fuck? Go and go subscribe now and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't understand my, my language, don't you? Okay. I'll speak to you in English. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Michelle, I wash my hair in braids. Are you new to this channel, Michelle? Welcome if you're new. I mostly wash my hair in braids. Yeah, it's practice just any practice. I think I need need to teach Gary to part queen, so I'll just record that video as well and it you'll edit it so you guys can see why part like this. It's not really hard, just practice. And thanks to the 15 person that gave the live stream at of so far. You're so awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the fact that she her styles are lasting long. And I'm really excited. Like for three months from now, I did her lane check this morning because I didn't remember to do one the last time she came. So I did it this morning. So three months from now we'll be doing another lane check for her. So excited. <laughs> Yeah, so if she follows through with my instructions and what I told her to do at home, she will see an improvement, which I told her when she take down her braids, make sure her hair is saturated with oils or, you know, a good leave-in, a good conditioner. Be gentle, do not pass a comb through it, take it down safely, you know, put it in sections, you know, free pour here, wash her hair, deep condition her hair, and then finger detangle some more, and then comes to me, come to me to get your hair braided up back again, or whatever style you choose to do. Do not pass a comb through it. Trust me. Not I using a comb is going to get you far away. I think the, the next time I come to my hairstyle, I'll leave this one. So. Oh, you leave it in, yeah, yeah. So we can see what it looks like yeah. Yeah. After, yeah. after a month. Yeah. That's a good idea. And then also just show, like, taking it down. Nicely yeah. And then. Yeah. So you understand how to do it. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Yes, Marilyn, but the truth is, because it's me alone, it's, I have a journal for my clients that are on the hair loss clinic because they have alopecia issues and because of the tests that I have to do and looking on their sculptural scope and stuff like that, I have to keep those documented to check their progress and everything. So I have photos for those religiously for the visits and the time frame. But for clients with um which i'm styling and all it's kind of hard to keep track of that because there's so many of them number one and number two i tend to get really busy so that kind of slow me down the fact that i am the only one you know but i plan to do but what i do encourage my clients to do is take lot, lots of pictures i'll tell them right now she's here and i'll tell her you know let's do a lens check take a picture of both sides of your hair the front and the back and keep taking pictures on your journey that way we can keep track of the progress. But for clients with hair loss issue, I definitely have to do that. And have been keeping records of those. Which, by the way, guys, God has been so gracious to me. Most of my clients that are doing, well, all of them, that are doing the hair loss treatments, they are seeing growth in their bald patches. And I'm really mm -hmm. happy for that. Is it me, God? No, I'm thinking I'm getting food and not getting none for me. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yes, really. <laughs> oh my god. That's okay. What do you want? Nothing, that's it's okay. I have some fruits on my refrigerator. Show me your little pot. Come here, me. Is it true you look like here, Miss um, LNG? What you saying? You go down this time, Mr. Then have burger, burger mixed with um, carrot porridge. First, me, I'm going to try it. You bought it? It, yeah, it Tell me how it tastes. That sounds good. I don't know why. You're a bit easy. If you want one, you can go get back one for you. 
bulgur with carrots. Yeah. That sounds good. Taste it. No, you taste it and tell me. Wait, Mercy. Okay. Taste it and tell me what it is. May I put some name on so I can see it? <laughs> yeah. No, I want to eat fruits first. I don't want to eat. If I taste it now, we don't have any. All right, the thing about it, if I taste it now, I'm going to be really, really hungry and I can't stop to eat now. So I prefer. But my taste both different from yours. Don't worry, I trust your judgment. <laughs> you work with food. So I trust your judgment. Trust your judgment and say, so you know, how the food mm -hmm. supposed to be. You go to me? Sweet. <laughs> sweet. But sweet? Good. No, I can't deal with the sugar part. I'm trying to lose some weight, so I'm trying to cut down off sugar, too much sugar. By the way, guys, my weight loss journey is up and running again. Listen, I plateaued the other day. Nice. And I started putting on it nice. Mm -hmm. I started mm -hmm. putting on... No, too much sugar. I started putting on... Wait again. I tell you, sir. I start. When we say sweet, to me I cut out sugar. Yeah. To when we say sweet, probably not sweet for you. Well, if it's sweet to you, it won't sweet to me because I'm putting on sugar. Mm, I cut out the sugar, my son. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'll have some fruits and then I'll try to go that I will not have later on. Mm hmm. I to remember to come with me, me eat. Okay, crazy Saturdays. Yeah. Oh, that's been good. Hi, Cozy. How are you? <laughs> Where are you from, Cozy? trying to put down the oil and everything like that. Hi, I have a breadfruit at home and I'm, I have... Where so the when I go home, huh? one of my clients brought it for me yesterday. Breadfruit? Yes, she says the first one on the tree. I should pick it 10 carat come give me. <laughs> she says the yes. first crop for this season i was amazed like she yes. really loved me you know she said she said and i dreamt that two ladies passed and pick it you know so i just get up the morning and pick it i said let me carry, go give samantha before they pick it off of the tree <laughs> you know, it was really fresh fruit so yeah you need to, to um, make it no, I'm going to boil it. I'm going to put it in a pot and wash the breadfruit and put it in the pot as it I is it. yeah it tastes just like the roast breadfruit you know. when you do it like that I was trying to tell her that yesterday. She said, really? I said, yes, it has the same texture and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm waiting on it to get a little turn. So I'll oh, by the time I go oh, home. Someone find the yard tomorrow. I'm going to find my yard. I'm going to hide it. <laughs> I saw me love my breakfast when it turn. Yeah. Hi, Pia. That's awesome. I'm so happy that your hair has been growing and I'm happy that this channel has been helpful to you. That's, nice. That's awesome. Hi, cute. I'm happy that your hair is growing back now. Mother and Natural, how are you?
you, Marilyn. Hi, Nikki. Good morning to you. How is your hair growth journey coming on? That's awesome, Nikki. I'm happy that you're here in Snow Thriving. It's 26 minutes into the live stream. Thank you guys for coming to keep me company and coming to class to learn today. <laughs> like, listen, I should have a list of your names. And when I call you, I said, present. You said, Merlin, present. Viola, present. Debian, present. Tia, present. Michelle, present. Deborah, present. Olga present, Opa present. <laughs> Chocolate Pitney present. <laughs> Pinky present, Nikki present, Cozy present. <laughs> I saw you guys be answering me when I come on live. And I call your name, you're not here. So, oh, she's absent. Hopefully, she'll be on later on. <laughs> Because you're in school. Just keep practicing, my dear. Nikki, you'll get it. Just keep practicing. I, so I don't go live on a Saturday. But pretty much once I, I'm not too busy or I'm in a good mood. Yeah, I go live pretty much every day. I try to. Sometimes I don't get to. But you'll never see me live on a Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so many of you guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah, from Sunset Friday, you won't see a live stream until, and sun, until Sunset Sabbath. Most time you won't see me again until Sunday after a Friday.
Yeah. Some days you get two or three lives. Depends on the mood I'm in and depends on how I'm feeling. And some days you don't see me none at all and that's when I miss y'all. Because I've been so busy or either not feeling well or something. Like, when you don't see me, pray for me. Pray that God give me the strength to work because I'm so busy I don't even have time to scratch my head. Whenever you don't see me or I'm not feeling too well. But most time it's busy. I hardly, I seldom if not feel too well. <laughs> That don't happen often. I don't like when I'm busy and do live stream because it's a lot of distractions. Number one and number two, I feel like my mind is so occupied with what I have to do next or what I'm trying to focus on. I don't really get to give you guys the information that you may want. So I either go quiet or, you know, things are just out of my control. So I like early mornings like these. But the thing about going live on an early morning like now is that most of y'all in your bed sleeping yeah. or busy or something. <laughs> so you have to come back and catch the live stream later mm -hmm. on or, you know. Yeah. So I need to go early morning and late night because when it's early morning, a lot of persons are sleeping some parts in the world for me when it's late night it's just morning for them so they'll come and watch so i try to cater for people all over the world that are subscribed to this channel because we do have a wide community like some of you are from some places that i've never heard the name <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true marilyn Yes, Nikki, I braid my hair up when I use the cornrow. I use the cornrow my hair just like this, up to the top, to the side, to the back. Where it comes with practice. I can't tell you it's easy because when I just started out, it wasn't so easy to braid my own hair like that. But once you get the hang of it, trust me, you get it. Just a moment, somebody be calling my phone. Oh, this is not my phone. Sorry, I have to find this call. This is. This is very scary. Okay. Hi, Simply Shell. Yes, girl. I'm happy. My hair is growing back so nicely, so fast. Yay! <laughs> A lot of persons think that my hair is growing fast. It's actually growing at a steady rate. Because five months, in within six months, you're supposed to have at least like. So my hair is actually growing. I actually gained like two and a half inches. Are three inches in some areas too because you know some part of your head grow faster than the other anyways right so I get three inches in some areas two and a half inches in some but that is average growth rate and you can get the same even if you're not taking supplements even if you're not doing anything but just taking care of your hair so it's not breaking you can retain that amount of length you just need to be really 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 <laughs> <laughs> consistent <laughs> consistency is a key be gentle be your deep conditioner be your protective style be gentle keep repeating the process until you see the result and in six months you can get three inches and that is just regular growth rate. That's not fast year growth. To the people that get an inch per month, I lift my hats off to you. You have good <laughs> genes. But for those of us that get half an inch per month, girl, you have to try everything to retain that length. <laughs> one, one, four, 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 your basket. If you retain all that length for the next two years, trust me, you'll be retaining 
six inches per year. So for two years, you retain 12 inches. Three years, you know, it keep on going or so. A little dusty. But once your hair is healthy, you don't need to be trimming, trimming. Thing. But if you take an inch off, say you're retaining five inches. And that is if your hair grows slow like mine. For person that has No, I'm getting really, really hungry. You see my food now. What time is it now? Okay. And I think because I exercised this morning and then I didn't exercise home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get up out of my bed and run around, skip and do my little exercising. I walk. <laughs> so I need to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think walk. Is as effective to me. I don't know because I was an athlete, so my, my muscle have mm -hmm. a sort of memory, so body is like treating like, oh, this is just a normal day. <laughs> is it any better now? I have to run um um Marilyn. Walking do nothing for me, no matter how fast I go. It's just because my body is used to rigorous exercising. Oh, okay. So even if I started out by, you know, warming up by walking and so on, mm -hmm. I have to run or skip or do something like that. Skip help you. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Just Jenny. To say you're pretty. <laughs> Hi, Nadine. Good morning to you. So we're gonna twist this now. We're gonna twist this part and let it fall to this time. We're gonna twist it with products so it shrinks a little bit. But that's okay. <clears throat> Let me fix you guys. Down and turn to the left. Not you, I was still oh. here in the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said don't turn to the left. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're so obedient. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> My mom was very strict. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my dad was a soldier. Okay. Yeah, and my mom is very strict as well. So okay. I understand. Hi Nadine, good morning to you. Is it clear now guys? Are you seeing clearly? Is it still buffering? I'm gonna use this to twist her here. Yeah, it's a can to twist in butter. How can twist butter? Just a little bit. Yeah. What, what I consider to be a little bit.
want them to feel like I want to sleep. There's four chairs here. Just join them together and lay down and sleep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Samantha. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's buffering this morning at all. The internet. Can you guys see clearly? Is it blurry? Okay, thank you. Hi, Lala. But this style is going to last her for another three weeks to four weeks. And she says she's going to come back so you guys see how it looks at the end of four weeks. I hope you guys will catch that live stream when she does come back. I'm twisting to this direction, so I'm going this way, this way. So I twist to my right. But the direction don't really matter to me, because I used to twist the other direction as well. Christina twists the other direction. Yeah, because the product that I'm using is a wet product. It's a twisting butter and it makes the hair shrink. That's okay. That's the look I want her to have. That fluffy twist look at the top.
Thank God, Mary Lane. God is good. Remember to send me the information. Top you up. This is the second visit. So it's one month, one wheel, since she has been my client. <laughs> this is her second visit. Yes, Marilyn, she is. You have good memory. She's the one from Africa that came. She kept the style for almost a month. So she's just coming back to re get her get her hair redone. Was giving her some more advice this morning as well on the taking down process because she did take down the style at home so i was telling her exactly what to do and that's when a lot of person lose all, the, most of the hair that they have grown through the taking down process and they tend to pass comb through the hair during that process and that just break the hair off and they tend not to moisturize during the take down because they think, you know, I'm going to wash my hair anyway, so why would I waste product on it? Mm -hmm. But trust me, it's very <laughs> crucial to moisturize in the hair during that process. You're welcome, Nikki. Just a moment, guys. My other phone is ringing. New Good Naturals, good morning. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. You can try over Logics. Logics next door. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Depends on your texture, Marshall. Depends on your texture. Now, if I'm out here, before I take down my cells, I usually put like a moisturizer in it or saturate it with oils. I use my shea butter recipe to, to do that. Or spritz it with like, you know, the Talia Wajid upland aloe leaving, then put some of that on it and take it down. So it's okay once you're being gentle and you're not creating knots. But once the hair is dry, you're gonna have a lot of knots entangles and extremely wet hair can cause the same thing too you just want to make sure it's hydrated where and it's moisturized but it's not getting matted you know your hair you know what works best for your hair just try and figure out 
So this time you try something, it doesn't work. Next time try something else. So you can try a cream or shea butter recipe, which I guarantee will work. And it didn't work for you, try some oils, try some leave-in next time or regular condition. <laughs> so once our hair is dry, all the white stuff will come out eventually. And it won't flake. Like this product doesn't flake and that's one of the things I like about it. This was the last twist that we are done. Let me spin around so you can see. This is kind of awesome. Yeah, that's what this looks like. <laughs> so continue to watch our journey to Wasteland. Until next time, guys, remember Jesus loves you, so be very good. Bye!